I was going to college and looking for a summer job. I ended up getting a job with the U.S. Forest Service on the Apache Sitgraves National Forest in Arizona on a Model 70 engine as a crew member. It was uh, evident early on some of the things that I learned. There were folks that were there uh, as a means to another end. It was just a job for them. For me, I was going to school to become a wildlife biologist, and so I naturally had an affinity towards the outdoors, uh, towards nature, and I, I kind of fell into another group. There were a lot of folks that the work itself was a means to the end. Folks really, really enjoyed the job and got a lot out of it. Uh, and you could tell a difference in the folks that were there because they really enjoyed it. The performance was better. Uh, their work was better. It was, it was, a, it was a, a better organization. You know, there were a number of factors that, that really could be attributed to success. Probably the first was I was very fortunate early on to, to just be surrounded with very, very good people. There were some amazing folks with a very strong work ethic, that were very capable and competent, uh, very experienced. And so you just kind of naturally start forming your own work ethic based on those folks that are around you. That was one in particular. Another one was I was just very lucky to have really good mentors. Uh, some of them in a formal capacity, uh, but more often than not, it was not a formal capacity. It was being around folks and recognizing some of the skill sets that they had uh, that maybe I didn't and that I would aspire to try to be, to improve my own skills on that level. Uh, another one would probably be the fact that you learn from your supervisors. Uh, I watch my supervisors and one can learn as much from a poor supervisor as they can from a good supervisor. Say if I'm ever, if I ever have the opportunity or the privilege to work in that position, I'm going to do things differently than that individual did. So you capitalize on those strengths that, that your supervisors have and you also learn from the weaknesses. Probably as important as any of the rest of them, however, if, when I've had an opportunity to serve in a leadership capacity or in a supervisory capacity. Uh, I've made every effort to surround, surround myself with the strongest individuals I possibly can. Those that uh, have high expectations of themselves, those that I can challenge those individuals and have them set the same expectation for me that they have that expectation that I will also improve. very important to recognize the responsibilities that come with each new position or those those responsibilities they come with a price uh, understand the gravity of those duties that you're assuming and probably most important don't be intimidated or embarrassed to ask for help when you're running into a little bit of, of challenge trying to figure those things out uh, asking for help really shows wisdom it doesn't show weakness best career advice I received came very early on in my career and that was to never settle for average. Uh, be happy with the work you've done but recognize that you can always improve. So never be comfortable with where you are, always seek to improve yourself. First I'd probably say I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. Uh, the job can be very challenging challenging both physically, it can be challenging mentally, it can be challenging emotionally. Uh, there, are, there are a number of challenges environmentally, even administratively, so the challenges are significant in the job. But uh, thinking back in the 20 years with the first day that I started and I walked on to the Heber Ranger Station with the U.S. Forest Service, I was, not a day went by that, that went as planned. Not a single day to when I walked in the room today went as I had planned it. And so being able to adapt and being able to embrace the dynamic environment that, that really surrounds the wildland fire career field uh, is something that folks need to do. But I also can think back of the places I've gone, the people that I've had the opportunity to work with and, and learn from. It's been amazing. Uh, it has been an e extremely enjoyable and rewarding career. There are a lot of opportunities out there to learn about the wildland fire career field, everything from walking into a, 
ranger station or into a national park office or on a national wildlife refuge, what have you, that you can go in and, and talk with the locals, the local folks that are in the wildland fire arena. There are job fairs out there. Most of the agencies have uh, hiring websites or programmatic websites that talk about fire management so you can kind of understand it. I think the best tool out there is to talk with somebody that's currently in that field, whether that again is just going to a local office that has fire management folks there to talk with them about it. Again, it, the, the job is not for everyone, so it, it, it's something that you do need to do your homework on, and if you do have the privilege of getting a job, it is a, it is a very rewarding experience. So.